So the first rule we teach anyone, the first principle about good communication, is know your audience, know your audience, know your audience. When you know your audience, you can design a campaign that touches their head, their heart, and influences their hands. Knowledge, attitudes, and practices. If you really want to affect someone, you have to know who they trust, who they love, where they get their information from. So the messenger is critical because the messenger is the conduit between what you want to happen and the audience member that you want to do that action. So really the context of your campaign determines the extent to which you can train your messenger. But anyone can be trained. Everyone can be trained. You can be trained to be a better public speaker, better under pressure, how to deal with risky questions. You can deal with um, knowledge gaps on the subject matter, gaps on their audience. So of course you can train a messenger. Some campaigns require a well-trained messenger. If you're doing a campaign which has a messenger, not just do a two-second or five-second PSA, but is becoming a spokesperson on radio and TV, then you really need to train them in the subject matter and good practices in communication. So again, there's not one size fits all. Training is always good. Um, experiential training is always best. So learning on the job, learning from people, learning in situ, as opposed to book learning, is good with uh, most messengers. I am a huge, strong advocate of the power of positive messaging. In the IUCN family, we call this love, not loss. Especially in the conservation space, loss Polar bears are falling off ice cubes and they're dying. The world is destroyed by climate change. These dire messages, they disenfranchise us. They disconnect us from our aspirational need to engage. Sometimes you can have negative messaging, but it tends to work better in fields where the action is more immediate. If I smoke cigarettes, I can die. Secondhand smoke can hurt my child. Not putting a seatbelt on. Fear-based messages work best with a more immediate theory of change. The more complex the theory of change, and illegal trade in wildlife is very distant, very complex, very doomed, all that a negative message does is further disconnect our audience from the issue. And we want our audience to love the issue because then they can change their behaviors.